What the fuck? Where am I? Oh shit. Daniel. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Police will get those two straightened out. Are you sure about this, man? I don't know. And they'll be off our property and won't be our problem no more. If you say so, then. Well, I'll let you deal with it. Oh, hey there. You finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you. But if you're innocent, don't act guilty. How's your stomach? I'm gonna tell the police you kidnapped me. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. I saw it in the paper. Maybe I should call ICE to make sure you're a citizen. Fuck you, hillbilly. I'm American. Mm. <sighs> Watch it, punk. Whatever. You're going to jail for this. Pretty sure the local police will vouch for me over a thug like you. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him... You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. If he's lucky, he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go. Please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. Bastard turned the lights off. Come on. It's only plastic. Daniel must be scared shitless. I can't leave him out there. Okay. Looks like he's gone for now. Wonder if I could get more light from it. what I thought. Fuck. Wonder if I could get more light from it. I'm sorry, but you married an asshole. Sean! Sean! Where are you? I don't even want to think of this asshole being the same... Oh, yeah. This racist shithead is a real pillar of the community, all right. Daniel, you're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. 
think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. Can you try and open this vent? Don't worry. We'll figure something out. There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. It is, but be careful. It might attract him. Hey, you think you can open the back door? Of course, the fucking keys are all the way over there. I don't like it out here, Sean. Right. I need something to break this shit. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can... Pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. I, I think I saw a big file thing in the workshop with all those bear sculptures. I know you can find it. Okay, I'll try. Come on, Sean. We gotta hurry. Before the police... Is this what you wanted? This is it! You rule, Daniel. Come on. Let's do this. Yes! Good job, bro. happen okay we need to cut this off fast how about these dude you brock did that asshole see you no way i'm invisible yeah you are okay now we gotta get my stuff and go What happened? What? What did you do? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. 
happen? It's okay. You're safe now. Let's go! Now! Come on! Come on! Wait! Shit! Where are we going? Sean! Watch out! Over there! Let's go! I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? I don't look okay. That asshole at the gas station. You're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude, say no more. I believe you, okay? It's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you too. Hurry up before he catches us. And I thought I was having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Did he mess with you too? He started too earlier, but I bought too much stuff just to piss him off. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. We only lived in one place my whole life. Kinda lame, but... Well, you're pretty young. You have time. That's what's great about traveling. It gives you perspective. Sometimes maybe too much. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. <sighs> Daniel. What? We saved her. <laughs> We're heroes! Yeah. 
Yeah, guess we are. <laughs> so, what should her name be? Hey, your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. And so do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is, then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money. But, no soul. I took off after school, and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. Whatever. Wow. So you're, like, all political. Everything is political, Sean. Sounds cool. Don't you ever get kind of lonely? Uh, there's a big difference between alone and lonely. Yeah. And you probably meet a lot of people out here. That's right. The unseen side of America. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah. And feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Look at that. 
Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... Then... Fucking cops. Hey, it's gonna be alright. Take a deep breath. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere, and you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? Wish I could go back to my town. Even if it was boring like that one. At least I've had friends, family, a home. I used to bitch about it so much. Now I've got nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking, get out of the country, fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn, I thought I was the long haul traveler. <sighs> Should I go back uh, to Seattle? Maybe I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No, no way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad... He always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Los. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. 
We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. Listen, I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. <laughs> 